Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to our a quick Zoom today on how to use the Market Watch program in the Stellar MLS system. Um, and hopefully, some of you are aware of this product, the unique uh, widget that we have. Uh, but we found that some people have uh, this widget tucked away and they're not seeing it, uh, but it provides valuable data for you on a daily basis or weekly basis. Uh, something to augment our daily MLS reports that we're publishing for you. And we've had a lot of great feedback from you. Uh, but this can augment that for you to give your consumer um, that rich data that they are looking for at this time in the marketplace. And so Cindy's going to give us a little lay of the land on how you actually set up um, your market watch uh, widget so that it gives you what you want and what you need every single day. And of course, it could be modified as you see fit. So Cindy, take it away. Thanks, David. And uh, again, I just want to say to everyone, thank you for the feedback on uh, the fact that these daily stats that uh, David and his staff put together are, are helping you. Uh, as a practicing realtor, you know, that's where it came from is that was the information I was looking for. And then uh, I know several of you have reached out and asked about the, the back on market and the price decrease. So here there is a feature in the market watch. And so uh, you can modify for the type of property. Most of us are probably going to do residential. And then it gives you four different options. The last 24 hours, today, three days, or seven days. So just for the nature of keeping up with our weekly stats, you might want to look at seven days of how that compares. And then you can customize it. And if you haven't, uh, what you might find, I just did a sample here of single family homes in Pinellas County. And, uh, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. But realize that let's say that, that uh, you are working in some, you know, and you're wanting to work somewhere about, you know, a mile from the beach. You know, you can actually put in a mile from a zip code or a street or an office. You can put in all the parameters. You could look at things that are two bedrooms or you could look at things that um, have other fields like vacation rentals. So just realize you've got that same rich search ability. So let's go back out. I've already saved this one. And what will happen is you'll see how many new listings, how many price increases, how many price decreases, what came back on the market. Those are the, the three things that right now our, our graphs aren't able to deliver. So I wanna talk a little bit about those. Let's look at price decreases. So this is for single family homes in Pinellas County. And in the last seven days, there were 203. Um, one of the things that I have noticed when I looked and went through it is probably 16 of them had an adjustment of more than 5%. But I think it's helpful to sort it by price. You may find a different one. But oftentimes, the lower price properties, they'll have a greater percentage adjustment. But you can look in here and start to get a feel for what I noticed when I looked at some of the stats for the Tampa Bay market this week was that, quite honestly, the majority of them were under a 5% adjustment. And so they were really, um, many times as a realtor myself, will look to have an adjustment to get it back in front of people. So. It also helps kind of get some good information about it, you know, people thinking that there's big bargains. What is the market doing? How are people adjusting? The other interesting thing that I think you'll find helpful is this back on the market. I hear people talking about the market. And, um, and so here, if you look at this, out of 98 of them, uh, they actually, uh, these, so about 16, of them had downward price adjustments. So if those are coming back on the market, one might think that maybe there was appraisal issues or some, some things around that, that that were caused to bring it, um, bring it back. Um, and actually a few of those you see in their price increases. Then you see some of these where it went pending and back on the market with no price change. Again, we may start to see something like that where it may be more about the buyer actually qualifying. Maybe something's happened in there income or their job situation. So what I would just say is look at that balance. And even for back on the market, there's, there's one that was 9%, one that's 5%, but really small changes in, in relative terms. So again, those may be good things that you want to run for your particular interest every day. And as David said, if you had a specific 
uh, thing, even if it was a geographic farm, you could actually draw the, um, using the tool, the mapping tool, you can actually draw exactly what you want that information to be. So we just felt like that might be something that um, people had not been uh, seeing. I know for myself, it had gotten pushed below the fold down in all this craziness. And so as we started talking, David reminded me it was there and uh, I realized that I had a lot more access to information that'll be really helpful in my business. Um, also, if you haven't checked and you know, the, um, the current numbers, again, are, are showing strong. And I just met with uh, John Barcelo of Value Centric Appraisals. And right now they're still going off the last 90 days, which are strong. So it's a good time for your sellers. And uh, it's also a good time if clients are needing to uh, pull out equity, HELOCs, other financial strategies you can help them with. But if there are other things that we can help you with, continue to let us know. Uh, we continue to listen and try to deliver that to you. And again, I cannot say thank you enough to David and his staff for going above and beyond during this pandemic and continuing to serve and deliver uh, so much uh, value to our members. So we hope that's helpful. Have a great day. I'll turn it back over to you, David. Sure. Thank you, Cindy. So in the example you're giving us here, this is a single family residential for the past seven days. Um, 98 homes went back on the market and only 33 homes temporarily are off market. So that's a positive 65. So that's a good number to give to consumers, good number to give to your peers if they don't understand where the market's going. Um, but you can look at this every day. So Cindy, why don't you just change that to 24 hours, just so we have a glance of what it, sure. what it looked like just in the 24 hour period. So isn't that interesting? So you had 11 back on market and two dumped off the market in just the past 24 hours. Um, so it's really good information for consumers um, to kind of have an understanding of this. And I understand that they're not seeing this because this is your inside database, but it's great information for you to convey and to augment with our daily MLS reports that we supply today. And hopefully you're picking them up on PinellasRealtor.org under tools and statistics. They're published there every day by 10 o'clock a.m. And David, one of the things to note is like with this, where we see a lot of activity, it's not uncommon coming off a weekend, right? Like you would expect a Monday, a lot of times sellers, you know, are thinking over the weekend and, and are ready to kind of make those decisions. I'll also say that you guys right now have that uh, stats ability to access it right on the homepage. So if you just go to PinellasRealtor.org, you're, you're getting right there too. So, um, so Cindy, what is the, what is the uh, entire stellar marketplace look like? Can you reset your custom uh, thing and just show us what the entirety of stellar looks like? You just hit reset right there next to. Um, whoops, well, I was just so. going to pull this out. Oh, but okay. okay. I could have reset. Okay. Yep. There you just go. hit reset. And so reset is just a snapshot of the total marketplace. So if you really want to give your client a big understanding of the entire marketplace um, in big numbers here, but look at that just in the 24 hours, uh, 257 back on the market and only um, 76 went temporarily off market. So it's some interesting stats. Um, there are a few withdrawn and some canceled, but all in all, if you take it, the net looks uh, a little bit positive there. Um, but it's good to drill down and look at that information. And 25% of them had price increases. And right? how about so, that? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so sure consumers lot, will. Yeah, no, there's a lot of good information in here, guys. And, uh, and one more thing to clarify, like I said, there, some clarity on our charts is canceled is that whole, um, you know, withdrawn conditionally, like the, condi the cancellation in there. The back on market is, is stuff that was under contract and actually came back to market. So we just wanna make sure that was clear too. Absolutely. So that's, uh, that's all I had for today, David. Thank you, Cindy. We appreciate you giving us a little lay of the land on the market watch feature in Stellar MLS. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day, guys.